I'm John Brubaker. I am a performance consultant. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about momentum tonight. About 400 years ago, Isaac Newton defined momentum as being the product of mass times velocity. This is Ignite. We're at MIT, so I'm going to hack that a little bit tonight for you. So, mass times velocity as a momentum formula is going to be a little warped, and it's going to be an application that you can use in your business. Because I have trouble taking seriously someone who looks like a 17th century version of Fabio. <laughs> you can see a little bit of a resemblance there. So I define momentum as the manufacturing of positive progress. And the reason that's important is when you make positive progress, it changes the way you look at yourself. So that's what we're going to be talking a little bit about tonight. I have to issue a disclaimer. I'm a Boston sports fan, so the results of the next two images you're going to see are in no way a reflection of the way I feel. It's just a good example. So the example I'm going to give you is from the Super Bowl. New England Patriots versus the Giants. Second and 11, you guys all know this one. Second and 11, scores 17 to 15, fourth quarter. Wes Welker drops what would have iced the game. It would have been a first down. Two plays later, New York Giants get the football back. They're going the other way. 45-yard pass from Eli Manning to Mario Manningham, which set up the game-winning touchdown that did ice the game. So what we had here is an example of a momentum shift. Two key plays totaling 12 seconds, just 12 seconds in a 60-minute game completely changed the outcome. You can do the same thing. You can manu manufacture momentum in your business. This is the hack right here, okay? The object is you. The impetus on the object is your action. The mass, think of the mass as your business. Think of velocity as how fast you manufacture progress towards your goal, which is hopefully moving downhill, gathering momentum. Okay, so that's your hack. That's your competition when you have the big mo, when you have momentum on your side. And that's important because it's little things that win big games. Two plays, 12 seconds. How do you manufacture this? How do you do the hack yourself? You get started. It's the start that stops most people. So what you need to do is just take some small steps every day. The biggest difference between successful and unsuccessful people is successful people take action. It's really that simple. They take action every day. So here's my plan for you. So you can take the hack home with you. Take one set of goal, take one step, every day towards your goal to manufacture progress, to move your ball, so to speak, in your business a little closer to the end zone for you. And what happens is you start to develop what we call the power of small wins. There's a great book published by Teresa Amabile called The Progress Principles that talks about this and how you can set yourself up for success. It isn't enough to just take those small steps. What you need to do also is celebrate. There's a great sports sociologist called Dr. Pepping. He studied World Cup soccer teams during the last World Cup in 2010. He found that the teams that were most successful were the ones that celebrated success. Whether it was a great play, a goal, or a win, they had a process to celebrate that. And you could do the same thing in your business. So my advice to you, this is your takeaway, anyone can manufacture momentum. All you have to do is think big, start small, and act now. Thank you.